hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is charles peace in today's video we'll be making a beautiful dress it's gonna be a plain and pattern dress so guys if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload a new video we'll be using these two fabrics for the tutorial this one is a crepe english fabric and another designed english fabric you can decide to use your african fabric to combine uh, with a plain one but i'm using two english fabrics for it so guys let's get started this will be the main body of the dress why this will be the damp part and the sleeve as well so guys for the length of the fabric i'm using i'm using 37 inches times two which will give me 74 inches for this orange fabric then for the the pattern one it depends on how you want it so guys i'm folding it into two like so after folding it into two then i'll fold it in a bias form the first thing is to place it into two equal parts then place it in a bias form like so then from this tiny part i will trace my shoulder measurement is 16 divided into two give me eight then i'll add extra half inches for the seam allowance which is 8.5 so this is 8.5 here then from here i will take my measurement then from this point here i will mark my armhole which is nine inches our swim measure 8.5 at this point here i will take it to join to this edge so here will be my armhole i will carve out my armhole here then from this point here my bust point from the shoulder is 11.5 which is here at this point i will take my bust measurement now i will carve out my armhole here then from this point which is 11.5 inches i will take my bust measurement which is 37 divided by 4 will give me 9.2 inches I will mark it here then i'll add extra 1.5 inches then from this point now it's only my bust measurement that i need other ones will follow with the folding so i will trust the length the length of the dress i'm making is 60 inches but for this orange one i want it to be 42 inches then the remaining inches which is 18 inches should be the designed one the pattern one so i'll be cutting 42 inches for this plain one so i will drag it up then i'll take the measurement and mark it across you can see so I'll mark 42 inches round from the neckline depending on how you want it so i'll go ahead and join the lines together this will be the length then i'll pull it down again from this upper side i want to take remember i'm cutting the two pieces together my fabric is on full that, that means i'm cutting both the front and the back pieces together so i'll take my shoulder slope from this point here i'll mark one inch then from this point i will mark three and a half inches here front i want it deeper up to five inches 
but I'll first of all cut out the back before I cut the front. This is, will be for the front, while the back will be two inches. Then I will join my shoulder slope at this point here. You can see. So by the time I cut out the front and the back pieces, I will then separate it to cut out the front neckline. So I'll go ahead now and cut out from the neckline, back neckline first. So at this point, remember the curve here is for the front. I'm not going to cut it. It's by the time I'm cutting the front side, I was well cut out this curve. So I'll go ahead and So I will separate it, this for the back, while this is for the front. So I will go ahead and cut out the neckline. So if you want, you can put a zipper if you want to leave it, depending on your choice. This is for the front, while this is for the back. You can see? So I'll put it aside. As I told you earlier, the quantity of the fabric you're using for the pattern depends on how you want it. Like this one now, I'm using only one and a half yards of fabric. So remember we cut out 42 inches for the main body of the dress and the down parts will be 20 inches. We have cut 42. The remaining inches there will be 18 inches but i'll make it 20 inches altogether because the down part will be folded so i'll make it 20 inches so for the length of this fabric is by 60 inches so i'll cut out 20 into two that is 20 20 each and i will join it i want it it's gonna be a gathered side i will gather it at the down part so i need it to be very long so 60 by 2 should be 120 and I'll be cutting 20 inches. Twenty inches into two. It's 20 inches. I'll put a notch at this edge here. And as well, for the second one, I'll put a notch. The same thing I'll do to this part. Then I'll go ahead and cut it out. So I've cut out two pieces. Each is having 20 inches. 20 by 60, 20 by 60. So I'll go ahead and join it at the edge, join them to have long 120 inches. This will be for the damp part. Now for the sleeve, I will use the remaining one for the sleeve. So for the sleeve, I'll just fold it into two like so. I'll mark three and a half inches. I'll just curve it to this point. I'm sorry, the chalk is not visible. So I'll just curve it as if a circle at the damp part, like so, to be circular at the damp part. So this will be my sleeve. I'll go ahead and open it up. Don't forget to put your notch 
at the midpoint, which will be the shoulder line. Now see. Then another thing I cut out here is for the belt. For the belt, I'm having three three quarter. I cut it out into two pieces. So I'll go ahead and join it and fold it into two. Remember, it's by 120 as well to have a long belt, depending on how you want it. If you want it smaller, that's good. Anyhow, you want it. So, guys, we've gotten the sleeve, the down parts, and the main body of the dress. So, now we have the sleeve, the down part of the dress the main body of the dress and the belt so guys we are done with the cutting hey guys today's video will be sewing the plan and pattern so guys the first thing i'll do is to cut out for the neckline what i will use to turn it so i'm going to place it on these pieces of fabric and cut out a turnover for it so i'll just fold it like so this is the back neckline first I'm going to cut both for the front neckline and for the back neckline because it's not having a lining. If you are using a lining, you will just have to cut exactly the same thing and then turn it. So since we are not using a lining, I will go ahead and cut out neckline first. I'm cutting out the facing for the neckline. This is for the back neckline. The right side will face each other. This is the front of the fabric, and this is the front of the material that I cut out for the turnover. Now I've cut out the facing for the neckline both for the front and back piece so the next thing i'll do is to go to my sewing machine and sew with half an inch round the neckline i'll do the same this is the front i'll do the same thing to the back piece after then i'll show you the next thing so guys i've actually sewed through the neckline and i went ahead to fold it at the down part the down part of the facing i will launch the neckline round The next thing I'll do is to place my fabric right side facing each other. Or if you have your hemming gum, you can as well use it and iron on it in order to overlap on the fabric. So I'll go ahead and place the right side facing each other. After placing it, I'll go ahead and join the neckline like so. I'll join the two neckline. After joining the two neckline, I will close it up the two sides as well. I'll go ahead and join it with one inch. Now I've joined it at the shoulder line and as well, I join the two sides. The next thing is to add to the damp parts from the hemline. Now the first thing I'll do is to join these two pieces together. This is the right side of the fabric here. Right side will face each other. And I'll go ahead and join it. I'll join it at this edge. After joining it, I have to plant it at this damp part, round. I'll plant it round to this hem line, after which I will tell you the next thing to do. Remember while you are planting it, the right side should face each other. You can see? So guys, let me go and sew it. So now I've joined this together, the damp part. So the next thing I'll do is to measure out this damp part to enable me to determine how the size of this when I'm planting. So that I will not plant it either excess or lesser than what I need. I'll go straight to measure out the length I've 
just stew. This is 79 inches for the damp part. And I have, let me see what I have here. 60 times 2 give me 120. So I'm going to plant this to the size of 79 inches. Let's say 80 inches. But by the time I will use half inch to close it up, it will not be 79. So I'm plating this. This is the length of 120. So I'm going to reduce it to 80 inches. Now I've joined the down flare. You can see. The next thing that is left will be the sleeve to fix the sleeve. I've already folded the down part of the sleeve. So I'll go ahead and insert my elastic to it. I'll just cut nine inches. I'm cutting nine inches for the elastic band. I'll cut it into two pieces. Make it nine or ten inches. Then I'll go ahead with my safety pin and insert it on this downside before I attach the sleeve to the main body of the dress so now i've inserted my elastic on both of the sleeve so i'll go ahead and secure it i'll fold it into two and close it up then i'll attach it to my dress after then i'll show you the final look of the dress and as well i will sew the belt so guys after making it this is how it looks and see this is the front while this is the back i'll go ahead and attach my belt to it so guys i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload a new video give it a thumbs up share to your friends and keep watching for more styles and bye until i see my next video